Welcome to part two of my DVD collection. This time I'm going to be showing off the releases that I have from Universal Studios Home Entertainment. I'm going to get started with David Cronenberg's Eastern Promises. This is a 2007 release from Focus Features. Comes with two featurettes, Secrets and Stories and March for Life. This is one of David Cronenberg's best films in my opinion and Viggo Mortensen does an awesome job acting as always. And this is a pretty good release. I picked this up for 10 bucks a couple of years back. Very excellent movie. So if you're into David Cronenberg or Viggo Mortensen in general, I highly recommend picking this up. This is just such a great movie in my opinion. Next movie I have is Halloween 2. This is the 1981 sequel to John Carpenter's original film from 1978. Again, starring John... Excuse me, Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance. And this is a 2001 DVD release. Only has the theatrical trailer, production notes, and cast and filmmaker notes. And has some pretty kick-ass artwork as well. Picked this one up used for three bucks a while back. So yeah, very cool sequel. I recommend getting this as well. Another movie that I have is Public Enemies, which stars Johnny Depp and Christian Bale. This is directed by Michael Mann, who also did Collateral, Heat, Manhunter, and Thief. This comes with an audio commentary by Michael Mann and a behind-the-scenes featurette called Larger Than Life, which has Johnny Depp and Christian Bale talking about their characters in the film. And this is a 2009 release, by the way. I know there's a two-disc edition floating around, but I'm happy with the one I got right now. So, very intriguing, very engaging gangster film. If you're into it, I recommend this one as well. Next movie that I have is a sci-fi horror film called Altered. And this comes from Eduardo Sanchez, the director of The Blair Witch Project. And this is a 2006 release from Rogue Pictures, who at the time were a division of Focus Features, but now they're under Relativity Media now. This release just comes with deleted scenes, but again, that doesn't matter to me. Because this is just such a very creepy, very suspenseful horror film. So yeah, I highly recommend picking this up as well. I picked this up for four bucks at... Walmart a few months back. Very lucky enough to find this. So yeah, go check it out. Next movie that I have is quite, excuse me, quite possibly one of the best remakes to come out in the last few years. And that would be The Last House on the Left. And this is the remake to Wes Craven's first film from 1972. He wrote and directed, and Sean S. Kenningham produced it. Both Wes and Sean returned to produce this film as well. Along with Marianne Maddalena, who has produced Wes Craven's film since 1989's Shocker. This one's directed by Dennis Iliadis this time, and co-written by Carl Ellisworth, who co-wrote Wes Craven's 2005 film Red Eye. Of course, this is a Rogue Pictures release, one of the first to be released under their new parent company, Relativity Media. This comes with deleted scenes and an inside look featurette, which is nothing more than like a five or six minute promotional piece. I was very disappointed in the extra features on this DVD. I wish they could have had a much more in-depth, behind-the-scenes featurette. And at least have some, at least have an audio commentary by the actors because they all did a phenomenal job in this film. But you know what? It's whatever. I'm just glad to have this in my collection. This also comes with both unrated and theatrical cuts of the film. So, yeah. Next movie that I have is a film from Steven Spielberg. This is Munich. This is a 2005 release, 
and this is a co-production with Universal, DreamWorks Pictures, and Amblin Entertainment. Yeah, this is a bare bones release. This just comes with a little, just a small little featurette called An Introduction to the Movie by Steven Spielberg, which he's talking about the content. My mom got this for me last year for Christmas. So yeah, very intriguing, very brutal movie from Steven Spielberg. Probably the most, probably the darkest movie he's done since, save his, since Saving Private Ryan and Schindler's List. So yeah, I recommend getting this one as well. Okay, let's see what I have here. Uh, next one I have is a film from Wes Craven, and this is The People Under the Stairs. This came out in 1991. This, of course, is a bare-bones disc. Just has the movie, but again, doesn't matter to me because I'm just glad to have it in my collection nonetheless. And this is a 2003 DVD release. Has some pretty cool artwork as well. So yeah, if you're into Wes Craven, I recommend getting this one as well. This is excellent little film, in my opinion. Next one I have is The Incredible Hulk. This is the 2008 reboot of the film, which stars Edward Norton. And this is... Again, a 2008 DVD release. Comes with deleted scenes and an audio commentary with the director, Louis Leterrier, and Tim Roth, who plays Emo Belonsky, a.k.a. The Abomination, in this film. This movie is ten times better than Ang Lee's 2003 attempt, which had Eric Bana in the role. This movie just has much more of an energy to it. Stories better in this version as well. So yeah, I recommend getting this one too. Next film I have is a video game adaptation, and that would be Doom, which stars Carl Urban and Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock. This is a 2005 release, and this is the unrated extended edition of the film. Comes with some decent features. This movie gets shit on a lot, but me personally, I thought it was pretty decent. I like a good movie with with monsters and stuff, so yeah. Has a very eerie feeling to it, and has some good action sequences with The Rock. So yeah, I recommend this film, if, if you want to check it out. I'm well aware that this doesn't follow too closely to the video games too much. Wasn't really a fan of the Doom games. I have, I mean, not that I'm not a fan. It's just that, yeah, I've seen my brother play the Doom games so much, but you know what? I'm raveling on. I, I didn't think this was a bad movie. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty entertaining. I like the monsters, like the setting, like, like the overall feeling to it. So yeah, Doom. Okay, let's see what else I got here. Next one I have is... Very cool 80s movie. One of the best. And that would be Sixteen Candles, which is written and directed by the late, great John Hughes. Which, of course, stars Molly Ringwald and Anthony Michael Hall. Comes with a very awesome slipcover. It has a 10-part documentary on the film as well. Picked this up earlier this year. Excuse me. Very good movie from John Hughes. I have a couple more pretty cool 80s films. Howard the Duck from 1986. I know this movie gets shit on a lot, but you know what? I don't care. I love this movie to death. I used to watch this a lot on HBO way back when. And I was so happy when this special edition was coming out. This comes with some very, very good features. 
I mean, me personally, I don't find anything wrong with it. I mean, it's very fun movie. Has some comedy, has some adventure. And come on, Leah Thompson. How can you go wrong with Leah Thompson? She's hot. So, yeah. Very cool movie. I mean, some say it's cheesy. Some say it's eh, but I don't care what anybody says. This is just such an excellent 80s movie. Very fun and very energetic and very original in my opinion. So, so yeah, that's all I have to say about that. And next one I have is a movie called Playing for Keeps. And this is a 19... Excuse me. I cannot talk today. This is a 1986 release. This is written and directed by Bob and Harvey Weinstein. Of course, you know... You know those guys from... The guys who run Miramax, of course. This is one of their earlier productions. And I got this for like a dollar nine cent at Dollar Tree a while back. I haven't got around to watching this yet, but... When I do... I'll probably do a review on it. Anybody, If anybody out there has seen this movie, please let me know. And this is one of earlier performances from Marissa Tomei, as you can see. So, yeah. Next movie I have is a triple feature movie. And that would be the Darkman Trilogy. Which, of course, includes Sam Raimi's original from 1990. And the, and the later two are the two direct-to-video movies. Comes with a very cool package, as you can see right here. Darkman 1 and 2 are on the first disc, and Darkman 3 is on the second disc. Very cool stuff. I mean, I like the direct-to-video sequels. I watched them a lot when they came on cable. Just very fun, very exciting stuff. But I always love Sam Raimi's original film. And I picked this up for five bucks at Best Buy a couple of years back. This was a very good purchase for me. And this is a 2007 DVD release. So, yeah. And the last movie that I have in this Universal collection is A Perfect Getaway, which stars Timothy Oliphant, Mila, Mila Jovovich, Keely Sanchez, and Steve Zahn. And this comes from David Tui, the director of Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick. It only has the theatrical and unrated cuts of the film. And this is another 2009 release from Rogue Pictures. Another one under Relativity Media. Actually, my brother actually gave me this DVD. I thought this was a pretty decent movie. Everybody did a good job in this film, so yeah. And that about does it for this video. And uh, and thank you, as always, thank you guys for watching and for the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next part. So, again, you guys take care. And I'll catch you guys in the next part. Later.